It started off like a teenager and the challenges of a teenager. And then the internet came along. And that's really where havoc began to reach in my life. It was a challenge. It was an impulse. It was a draw. You could call it whatever you want. But it sucked me in. It was filled, it was a life filled with shame on the inside. And all I knew was my own actions. I didn't know about anybody else's actions. And I fought it. I managed fought it. You know, we're in L now. I considered myself an L yid. L was the only time of the year that I had a reprieve. And I and I made L last as long as I could. I even tried to have L last till Hanukkah one year. It was Givaldic. But ultimately, the Nisayim came back, and the fools came back. I tried everything. I tried Kabbalists. I made Gedarim in my life. I had daily check-offs. But this Mamish is a case of Ein Chavish Matir Mi Asurim. The biggest problem was that I was all alone. And I couldn't handle it myself. I didn't realize it until later, but I was in the process of forming an addiction. And I tried everything. I didn't want this. I was growing, but this was growing with me. Then the feelings became bigger until the point that I felt my life was out of control. I was, it was very painful and it was just taking my life over. It was affecting my family already. They didn't know what was going on, but I knew on the inside. But who was I going to speak to? I couldn't, to my rub, you can't, I was too embarrassed to go to my rub. To my friends, this is not the type of thing you talk about with your friends. To my wife, I can't talk about this to your wife. And I went through the cycle of making more Kabbalists and trying harder again and trying harder and lifting myself up and falling and being all alone. Until finally I realized I had to do something. And I told my wife. I found myself in the Rob's office the next night. And he gave me some chizik, but that was it. He didn't give me any tools. My wife wasn't satisfied. She forced me really to go into therapy next. I went to a therapist. I was willing. I wanted to. I wanted to move forward. I tried everything myself and nothing worked. And the therapist was helpful, got me to talk about it. But once again, I didn't really get tools. But the biggest Takara Satov I had to him was he'd said, why don't you sign up for the Guard Your Eyes Daily Physic? And I did. He signed me up. And I started to get these emails. And I read about other from Jews, from every walk of life, from Ranging the full spectrum of our community. There were Bahram there. There were young delight who were posting. There was a Marbitz Tyra. I read a post of a Marbitz Tyra who said, I have over a thousand Talmudim. And they all look up to me for a dracha. But I've been carrying this challenge my whole life. And when he stumbled upon Guard Your Eyes and he read their handbook, he said in his post, he made Guard Your Eyes his Rebbe. And I started to realize I wasn't alone. There were others out there who had this challenge. All the from Yiddin who were trying, but didn't have the resources, but now they did. And from Guard Your Eyes, I learned that there was a life to live forward. There was a way out. I signed up for the daily call. There's a call, but there's a program, and they work it through steps. Until God your eyes, I was all alone. But now, finally, I had resources. Now I had people to reach out to when I needed help. 
Now I had a program in my life that started to help me finally move forward. And I'm so thankful and I have such a curse of time. It's been almost a year and a half of a new life that I've started to leave. I'm still giving my shirim. But now, I'm a better father. I've become a better husband. I've become a more honest employee. This summer I was able to work on Taras HaMachshova. I can never imagine this life of having a new chance, a second start. I thought this was going to go with me my whole life because I was stuck. You know, on the daily calls that were on, so our leader wasn't, he wasn't available one day. So he asked me to lead the call that day. I was happy to be of service, and I led the call. And during the call, and it's an anonymous call, so we're on the call, and I'm leading the call, and a newcomer stumbles on. And you can hear in his voice how appreciative he was. He found, wow, he couldn't believe it. He had found a source of light in such a world of darkness that what he was living in. And we were all inspired from him. That night I get a call. He says, do you know I am? I said, no. He says, don't you recognize my voice? I was the newcomer. I recognize your voice. And he's someone from my community. A Ben Tyra. Someone we all in the community look up to. A Gavir. A Balstaka. Learns tremendously. Everyone respects. And he, t and he said to me, this has plagued me my whole life. And I'm so thankful that I found your group. And we're starting to work together. I'm just one Jew. But I know deep down in my heart, there are so many other Jews out there like me. And it's this organization that's going to help us and help them and help me.